Hi, it's Ross from Ross Art and Craft and I bring you part three of um, my colouring collection where we're colouring in the Gorilla Sheet um, in parts one and two. Uh, part one we went over uh, finding the colours that you, you're going to need and putting a plan together and part two we looked at the eye. Uh, unfortunately, in part two, um, I had an issue with the sound on the video. And so, in actual fact, it's a silent video. Um, but hopefully, now I've done some work on it, um, I should have sound on this one. So hopefully, you're hearing me. You might not want to, but hopefully you're hearing me. So today, in this part, we're going to look at doing the brow um, across the top of the eyes with the gorilla which in the plan um, I've got my set of colours here so um, we want um, pale blue oh that's not the pale blue that's the pale blue pale blue uh, indigo uh, iced blue uh, Pale Lavender, which is that one, and the Baby Blue, which I'd already picked up. Because this brow and what we'll be doing also incorporates this area here, which actually comes under the eye category on my plan, I'm also adding in the uh, Grey Lavender, the Light Sand, the um, Petrol Grey, the brown and the mid brown so that we can work into this top eye area here as well and carry that over uh, as well as the brow itself okay so as i say the last video was actually um silent so you saw me coloring it in but you didn't uh, get to hear uh, how I was layering and how I was approaching it. So hopefully this time we can catch up and um, we can work through it together so that you can hear uh, how I approach it. So I'm just going to turn these so you've got the best view on the camera and you can still see the source picture here. Um, so um, the way I'm going to approach it is is... I'm actually going to fill this area in here first. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start with the light sand and I'm going to fill the area in with a layer of the light sand into this brow area here like that. And I shall come down into this area too. All right. So, and then I am going to use the um, the mid brown, or is it just brown? It's just brown uh, into this area here. I'm just going to add some brown into this, and then I'm going to add some of the blue and the grey also so building up lots of layers of color so it's not just one color into the area it's lots of colors and I'm just going to take it a bit darker into this shadow outline that we already have in place on the actual sheet itself which is our guide as to where we are so I'm going to bring the indigo in uh, a little bit now and again I'm just going to start with these very dark areas here um, and I'm going to work into those build those up a bit so As I say, just adding layers. 
areas of colour. I don't particularly want to go too dark with the colour just straight away. I want to build it up gradually. Bring some of that baby blue into here as well. Under here, bring that paler blue in. I'll just start to fill in above this brow here as well. And the brow goes right back to that. There's just some little hints here, if you can see there. Okay, so as to this point here. So I'm taking that baby blue up to that point there and then you've got this marker here that indicates how far across that line there is here. So we can go right across to that line there and bring it round to there like so. Okay, now I'm just going to bring in some um, grey lavender into this underbrow area. Like that there, just a light coating. Like so. And come down here into that area there. And um, then I need um, the iced blue. Let me just check my colour sheet and just, yeah, just checking that it's the right colour. For what I was thinking and I'm just going to um, bring some of this brighter blue in to this brow area here not too much detail just or no detail really at the moment just bringing the colors in the whole area like so as I say use these outline bits these shadow bits as a guide as to um, the positioning of your colors check the reference of these darker areas with where the colors being placed that into there that gives us a hint of the the brow line across there okay now I'm going to go in with the uh, petrol grey now and again I'm going to work into these shadow areas down here first and bring these up to the underbrow and up to the brow itself. So it's starting to build up now. Um, as I say, slowly building the colour up. You could sort of do it heavier, build it up quicker. Um, but I like to just build up gradually, more gently, so that you're, you're in more control of where the colour goes. And as you're working, you might actually decide that the colour doesn't need to be as strong in places uh, than you initially thought. 
so it just gives you time to get familiar as you're colouring it in you sort of grow more and more familiar with the the features and this just gently building up the colour gives you a bit more control over that rather than going straight in with strong colour um, and realising that you've taken it too far um, and it's very difficult to go back if you go in too dark too quickly um, it's more difficult to take the colour back <clears throat> So now I'm going in with the um, the pale blue into these same areas here, and there's some uh, lavender into the edge of this brow. So I'm going to put that in now, quite close to the brow line. I'm going to take the, start to take the pale blue, or the baby blue, isn't it? Baby blue, um, darker now. As you build the colour, <clears throat> the more confident you feel, um, and you can start to build the colour up. As you sort of find your, your place with it. <coughs> Okay, so I'm going to put some grey lavender into this hairline here, bring it down into this side of the brow, side of the head, into this here. And then I'm just going to bring some more under the brow with the eyelid. Just building the colours up into there, like that. Okay, and then um, I shall go back in with, if I can find it, the indigo. Bring some blue some of the darker blue into these shadows and build up a little bit. You want to go very lightly over the paler areas with the indigo because it will be too strong if you're not careful with it. Lots of layers. Building it gradually. Get down here. Okay. Oops. Got the wrong shape there. So I keep swapping back between the different pencils. I'm going to take the indigo now further down into the underbrow, round into here, and then I'm going to go back in with the, the grey. Um, I need the dove grey as well, actually. I use the dove grey in the eye. So if I bring the dove grey back in, and that dove grey is going to go into this underbrow now. Like that. Okay, 
and the oops, the light sand is going to come back in again. There is closer to the the actual eye rather than the brow. Lots and lots of layers of colour. Going into this. Okay. Um, I can't see where I've put my petrol grey. So, back in with the petrol grey. And slowly, you're building up the depth in all the colours of the whole area here. As I say, I, I tend to do it quite gradually. I don't tend to go in heavy with the colours straight off. I just build them up nice and gently so that I've got more control where I'm putting the colours. If I go heavy with a colour straight off and discover it's not in the right place, it sort of ruins it really. Um, I like to keep a bit more control. So that's coming, it's starting to come now. Um, I'm just going to go back in with this uh, grey lavender. And almost start to blend the colours with it. Um, so, if you can see the, the pencil starting to blend together. And I'm using the grey lavender to do that. I've actually got a bit more blue into that underbrow um, yet. So let's go with the iced blue back into this over the top. So as you can see, my method isn't a quick uh, method. It, it's quite slow, quite precise. Um, but it does afford me a lot more control uh, and gets me a lot more depth than if I just go straight in heavy-handed with all the colours. Um, tempting as it is, because sometimes you really want things to just happen. Um, so I'm just going back in with the light sand, just building up a few more areas. Okay, let's just bring some more into that area there. This is going to be done later. Um, so now I'm looking for the pale blue coming into this area here, up a bit further now, go 
going into this upper brow. There is nothing wrong with going straight in heavy handed with the colours and uh, putting the colours straight down. Um, this is just my way of doing it where I just build it up very slowly. Um, and it, it is just that that is my preferred method of doing it. Um, there's no sort of right or wrong with it. Um, everybody has their own little way of doing it. Um, I'm going to um, just bring some, probably the wrong colour actually, let's just find our test, um, our plan here. And what I want to do is some light sand with some baby blue over the top to just see what colour that comes out to. I'm just going to bring it in close and yeah it is the um, light sand I need in that brow area so the colour just wasn't quite right for me and now you can see with that layer of light sand it's it's turned that pale blue uh, the baby blue sorry um, the better colour Put another layer of baby blue over the top and that's a much better sort of uh, match to that. So that's the that's the brow bit and um, if I pull this back a bit more very easily and then it doesn't stay where I want it. So you can see that the dimension's starting to come and I might actually um, add some more um, colour into this area here. Um, it could well be that I actually take a bit out maybe uh, and just alleviate this a little bit more. Um, it, it's dependent on what effect you want. Just put some pale blue, I keep calling it pale blue, it's baby blue, into this area. And that's that's probably working it better now, actually. Not quite happy with that, but that's better, it's coming now. Okay, so uh, just the last little tweaks. Um, I'm just going to, and I'll go back into this later on anyway, um, when I'm doing finishing touches and things, I'll probably still add a bit more, because as the whole picture builds as a whole, you'll um, see areas that you want to do extra work on. Um, so that applies to the whole picture really, there'll be all sorts of areas that you just want to add a bit more depth to or a bit more colour to. So that's how uh, I'm going to build this brow up is the combination of the um, the baby blue, the pale blue, the iced blue, indigo. I've bought into the mix which I hadn't put on my original pan the um, light sand and there's the lavender into that as well um, and a little bit of the petrol grey too so those there building into there so I shall carry that across to the rest of the brow along here and continue that into there and then the next video um, we do, we'll start coming down the bridge of the nose um, and into the top of the nose here. And we'll work on that, um, that piece there. 
if we get time we'll go into the actual nose itself um, but for now that's the that's the start of the brow that we're working into um, and I shall leave it there with you uh, as I said previously not that you've heard me in the last video because it was silent um, but in the first video um, if you did want a copy of the Gorilla to work through with me as we go through the videos um, there is a downloadable copy of it uh, available on the website which is £2.50 and you can download that and print it off as many times as you like on whatever paper or surface you like or you can buy a physical copy which is £1.50 which is exactly as I've got here the um, shadow copy that the guide copy that's um, printed out for you to go straight onto on a 160 gram cartridge paper and along with it is the uh, colour guide sheet from my original art piece so uh, that's £1.50 for the uh, printed copy um, if you're further afield than Staffordshire uh, there's postage and packing on top of that as well all available from the Ross Art and Craft website at www.rossartandcraft.com and then just search colouring collection and it will show you the gorilla and all the other ones that are available in the collection hope you've enjoyed that hope it's been useful and we shall go a little further next time thanks for joining me